Hello and welcome to Attention Central Texas. I'm Angela Galbraith, your host, and today we have with us the lovely Dr. Claudette Morgan Scott. How are you today? Hi, I am wonderful, thank you. It's, hey. a, it's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely, and you are looking <laughs> wonderful as always. Thank you so much. And you're here to talk about Man on Fire 2022. August 12th and 13th, amen? Yes, yes, so tell us a little bit about the conference. Listen, I am so excited about this conference. Mm -hmm. It is our first men's conference. Awesome. And so um, with that particular conference, we, we have a, a wonderful lineup, but it's really about looking at the men and what God's doing with men in this mm -hmm. season. I really do believe, you know, we've been saying it for a while that it's the hour of the woman, but I believe it's the hour of godly men. Amen. Uh, that God is actually calling men, uh, men with strength, uh, men with honor, men with dignity to be on fire for him because we're, you know, we're in a season and a time where we need those godly examples. Yes, we do. Yeah, yes, we, we absolutely do. need mm -hmm. those godly examples and we need to allow men to be men mm -hmm. and men to wow. take that role in terms of their leadership and being on fire for God. We see so many women on fire for God mm -hmm. that we need to support the men who are on fire for God. Amen. Wow, I love that. We need to allow <laughs> men to be men absolutely. and let them do what they do in the kingdom of God. Yes, indeed. So this is a beautiful thing that you're, you guys are doing here, focusing on men. You know, we have women's conferences all of the time, Absolutely. all of the time. Absolutely. And so rarely we, we see a conference <laughs> dedicated solely to, to men. Yes. So take us, say so there's Friday night and Saturday night. Take us to Friday night. What's going to be going on Friday so, night? So Friday night is, is really a night of empowerment. Okay. Um, we have... Um, a, Pastor Willie Robinson from Out of Temple, he'll be ministering. Uh, then we have uh, Prophetess Lindy Jones from mm -hmm. Kingdom Airs Ministry. And then myself, I will close out that Friday night. Amen. So Friday night is really that night of empowerment. We're mm -hmm. stirring up the fire. We're yes. ready to go, um, <laughs> you know, and, you know, and just uh, allowing everybody to come in and lay, we're laying that foundation. We're mm -hmm. setting the atmosphere. We have some uh, phenomenal worshipers that will be engaged in that service. So Amen. Friday night is actually open to uh, men and women. We encourage everyone uh, to come in on Friday night. If they don't get there on time, I can't promise that they're going to have a seat. <laughs> well, amen. <laughs> uh, because be on time. Yeah, there yes. is, it's buzzing. You know, mm -hmm. there is a buzz. I think the men in the region are so looking forward to this conference. Um, but Friday will be open to men and women. And so it's a night of empowerment, preaching the word of God, encouraging, strengthening, um, and, and setting that atmosphere uh, that will be conducive for a move of God, that mm -hmm. will be conducive for a revival. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Glory to God. That sounds exciting. <laughs> already. Oh, geez. Amen. So Friday night's going to be laying the foundation and laying the, 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 the way for Saturday. So Saturday, you have a host. I mean, a host of, of speakers. And I just trust that they're all anointed and sent by God. Yes. So take us into Saturday uh, for the panelist speaker, the panelists and the speakers. Okay. So Saturday, um, it really was important that it was a men's only day. Mm -hmm. um, men need their time. Yes, they and, do. And they need uh, to be sharpened by each other. They need to have space to talk about things that, that they really, you know, can't talk about with women there. They need that space to be mm -hmm. vulnerable. And, and so the panels is really designed uh, for question and answer sessions so that they're gleaning from each other mm -hmm. and not just someone just preaching um, at them or to them. But right. there is right. an exchange of information, um, time for prayer, time for deliverance, mm -hmm. time for healing, um, and, and just that space for men. So. Um, that we do have quite a range of, of anointed mm -hmm. individuals that will be there on Saturday. We have uh, Elder Henry Nash. Yes. Um, very well known. We have uh, Apostle Jasper Hughes, a dear mm -hmm. friend of mine out of Ennis, Texas. Uh, we have um, uh, Wayne, Pastor Wayne Lott, um, my uh, son in love, uh, uh, Apostle West Chancellor. Son in uh, love? <laughs> yeah, so he's married to my daughter. And so these are, these are phenomenal men with stories. Mm -hmm. um, their stories are real. And you know, and, Praise God. but looking at where God has brought them from, Praise God. and why are they men on fire, and mm -hmm. how um, how the spark in them can catch other men on fire, and that's through them be giving a real story. 
Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of times, you know, on, you know, when we have the pulpit experience, um, people are seldom vulnerable, seldom give the real story. Right, right. Um, you know, we need to be in a season where we can tell our truth mm -hmm. and look at how did I overcome and how can my story help somebody else to overcome. Exactly. And so yes. this, this is um, designed specifically so the men can have that time. They will uh, be served breakfast Ooh. and lunch. Mm -hmm. um, it's a $35 cost, which is very, very reasonable. Very uh, reasonable, and it's you know, and it's simply to cover the meals mm -hmm. in all reality. Um, and so, for the young men, nineteen and under, it's fifteen dollars. I'm glad uh, you yeah. included that age group too, as Absolutely. well, because they need it. Yes. 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 So, we, you know, we're not trying to make money. We're just trying to make sure that the men are taken care of and mm -hmm. they have that time. So, you know, I really give God thanks for um, our men's leader, Apostle Terence Townsend, from mm -hmm. out of uh, Temple. Okay. Um, he actually organised this. So, you know, this is really relational. Mm -hmm. uh, so he knows every one of these speakers. Awesome. Um, he knows their lifestyle um, and, and their walk with the Lord. So I'm really excited about this event. Amen. Amen. And you're right. That is a very reasonable cost uh, for lunch, breakfast and lunch. And you also get an event t-shirt, I see. Absolutely. So that is a very reasonable cost, particularly when you keep in mind what this conference is going to do for the lives of men. That's something money cannot buy. That's right. You know, yes. so it, it, it looks awesome. Um, it's going to be held at the Legacy Center International. Yes, ma'am. That's where you are the pastor or yes. apostle right? Yes. Okay. In um, Belton, Texas? Yes. So what's the Lord doing with you lately in um, oh, Legacy Center gosh. International? Wow. What is God doing with you? <laughs> How much time do I have? <laughs> <laughs> so um, we are, we're in such a phenomenal season. We had a name change. We used to be mm -hmm. Shiloh Worship Center. I remember that, yes. And so we still uh, have included Shiloh, so we're on the Shiloh campus. Okay. Um, and we just renovated our building. We suffered awesome. a, uh, a flood uh, mm -hmm. in the, the winter freeze last uh, February. Mm -hmm. But God used that as a vehicle to get our dream to us. Amen. Uh, yeah. And, <laughs> and so, you know, during COVID, we we're saying, Lord, we need some cameras. We need some lights. You know, we need different things. Mm -hmm. and, and wow, God had just orchestrated all of that. We had so many people that gave to us and sent money from all over the country uh, and sold Beautiful. into the ministry and sold into what Beautiful. God is doing. So, you know, we are really shifting and, and you know, designing that apostolic hub, um, you know, simply meaning that we are focused on not just churching, but actually pushing forward a kingdom agenda and um, training individuals to be leaders, to be active in their community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so God is really um, he's shifting us completely, shifting our, our mindset. Um, we have mm. awesome, awesome body of people. We're up at 3.30 every morning for, for morning prayer. We get on a conference call. That is people that love God. So that we, is phenomenal. So we're, we're mm -hmm. actually seeing a move of God. We're seeing things being um, released out of the heavens. Uh, God downloading some things, things moving with great acceleration. Visions that was held up, um, you know, yesterday are coming through today Amen. because of that sacrifice, mm -hmm. you know, so um, we're really excited about what God is doing. He's really changing our mindsets. We're, we're excited mm. about our relationship with God, but also our relationship with each other. What we're in love with the Lord and we actually uh, we're in love with each other. Such a place of peace. It's, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Amen. And you, you talk about it with such, uh, such enthusiasm. It's, it's blessing my soul. And no, I know you've seen God do wonderful things. I still know over the years you've seen him do tremendous things. But Absolutely. he never ceases to amaze us, does Come he? Come on. Amen. <laughs> he never ceases to amaze I'll us. I'll tell you, it, it's, it's, it's phenomenal what God's doing. And, and you know, and he, all he's doing is looking for vessels. Mm -hmm. uh, that will allow him to move, that will be a conduit of the move of God. And, you know, we're in a season where God is moving. We're in a season of manifested miracles. That's the season that we're in. So mm -hmm. as long as, you know, we build up our faith in the Lord and trust his word, then he will download a revelation, which actually leads to manifestation. Mm -hmm. And so we're excited about, you know, the, the revelation and the manifestation of the kingdom move. Amen. It's so good to be able to discern the season that we're in yes, so that we can take part, part in what God is doing. I love the fact that you said God gives us a, a new mindset. Yes. And sometimes he has to do that. Yeah. Give us a new perspective and a new outlook and a, and a new way of thinking and a way of moving in him. Yes. Amen. So I, I love that fact. <laughs> so that's what you guys are doing in Legacy Center International up at three o'clock in the 3.30 in the morning? Yes, ma'am. Every morning. Wow. Yeah. 
five days a week, Monday through Friday, and we're, we're meeting in prayer. It's phenomenal. <laughs> it is amazing. Uh, we get on that conference call, and the, the saints are there, and I, you know, I, I pray for 30 minutes, and you know, give a word, and and then we're good for the day. That's it. We're, we're going. We're running with that word because there's power in agreement. Mm -hmm. yes, and, yes. And, and that's what God is really dealing with us on. You know, mm -hmm. it's you know, can we be obedient to the call? Um, you know, and, and obedience leads, you know, that sacrifice, um, it, you know, actually leads to the blessings and the rewards of God. And so we're, we're really in that season where we're learning how to be disciplined. God is yes. disciplining us. Um, and, but then we're seeing the manifested miracles. There's mm -hmm. so many doors that God is opening, uh, which is so exciting. Wow. With that type of dedication and that type of commitment, he can't help but move. Yes. He can't help but open <laughs> doors. And I'm, I'm thankful, too, because, you know, sometimes we have things up before God and we think, how long, how long? long. But you said, you know, the promises that he made before he's manifesting it today. Yes. And I take hold of that. Yes. Because I have some seeds in the ground. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. Yes. That, that was, you know, some of what I was praying this morning. Oh, all right. Yes. Amen. You know, the, the, the depth um, that the root of our seeds have taken, you know, and, you know, we, we don't understand that we was developing strength in those dark seasons, mm -hmm. you yes. know, and, yes. and the nourishment that we gained out mm -hmm. of those dark seasons is really designed for us to accelerate and, and for us to come out of the obscure place because uh, we're about to sprout up, we're about to come out of the obscurity, we're about to come into the light, we're about to bear fruit, we're in a season of great productivity. So I'm excited that the seeds are in the ground, they're, they're about to come forth Amen. and bring yes. forth fruit and not yes. just fruit for ourselves but fruit for others that can feast from those oh, fruits. Oh come on, yeah. Amen. You know, so, Hallelujah. So that's where we are and you know um, Revelations talks about you know that we are that tree and uh, where there's a leaves of healing so and um, what you have been through um, is a you know or what anybody else has been through is about to bring healing to nations and so that's what excites me that what I, what I went through wasn't just about me because Ooh. it allowed me to produce an anointing that you know cannot be disputed and Amen. cannot be taken away you know <laughs> the anointing actually you know it, it causes us to you know be, you know be uh, legitimate in the eyes of God mm -hmm. and in the eyes of man and the anointing brings healing and it yes, brings it deliverance and you know it brings restoration so what we have produced oh my goodness it's, a, it's about to turn the world upside down hallelujah anointed that cannot be disputed come on by anyone come on anointed that cannot be disputed by anyone yeah. because people will try to, to downplay the anointing on your life but amen. the devil is a liar it cannot be disputed amen amen it's that powerful yeah, it yes is. it's that powerful so I thank God for you and how you blessed my life. Amen. Even in God this little time you. that we shared, you blessed bless my you. life. And I thank God for this Man on Fire 2022 conference. Um, August, again, August 12th through and 13th at the Legacy, Interna Legacy Center International, 700 Glen Hollow Lane, Belton, Texas, where Dr. Scott, Morgan Scott is the apostle. And I want to thank you, our viewing audience. Tune mm -hmm. in next time to see what's going on right here in our local area. Be blessed.